Hey, what's up everybody? Welcome back. Uh, we are back to check out a Nukes Top 5. This is Top 5 Scary Ghost Beers to Break Your Brain. It's gonna break your brain. Too big to be careful. I guess so. I guess <laughs> it's the end of me, everybody. Uh, anyways, if, if you are new to the channel, uh, please hit that like and subscribe. If you're returning, appreciate you guys tuning in to check out another one of our videos. Uh, so without further ado, I think you should jump right into it and check it out. I goes Connor. Can you goes. see it? Connor, I'm Cameron. Nick does life. Nick, does Nick life. Martin from Clearfield, Pennsylvania, dedicates his YouTube account to his dream of one day becoming the proud owner of a brand new RV to live in and travel the country. Oh, okay. In one of his videos, Nick does a vlog post mentioning that sadly, one of his favorite RV life YouTube channels might be quitting YouTube soon. As Nick casually paces back and forth through his house to help compose his thoughts, he something. suddenly captures something absolutely spine-chilling. There, there was, there's YouTubers on this platform yeah, that, you know, they're yeah, not like it. super... Oh, right super there, something's staying in the doorway. What's the word I'm looking for here? Uh, what looks like a headless dark figure oh my God. standing in oh, the hallway right behind Nick. Now it was one of Nick's loyal viewers, Megan, who actually noticed the That's creepy funny. apparition and emailed me about the video. She also reached out to Nick, who reacts somewhat confused and just explains that, hey, I don't make ghost videos. Of course, I then got in contact with Nick, who is absolutely shocked by what he captured. This Nick says he's seen and heard some strange yeah. things in his life, but never really thought much about them. Nick says he has no idea who or what this horrifying headless figure could be. It's but what do you think? Share your thoughts so uh, down in the comments. No, head. Head. especially he's not a ghost video guy. I don't know. Especially that has British no head. Yeah. Steve Ballard often conducts extensive explorations of old abandoned tunnels and forts. In this particular video, Steve is joined by his friend Stuart as they investigate the okay, historic underground grain yeah. fort tunnels in Kent, Don't England. Oh. The fort was built during the 1860s and survived two world wars. But later, the fort was left abandoned and the actual structure was demolished. However, the underground tunnels beneath the grain fort are still there over 150 years later. That's Steve oh. is showing his friend around the winding maze of halls and empty rooms when his equipment begins to act strangely. Oh, that's cool. Oh. I want to be like underground. That's and have you stuff all those when the lights go off. Look at that. That's weird. That's weird. The oh, light keeps going on. Yeah, it just went out. And it went out here, here last time as well. When I come down here the first time, did you? Um, I could feel someone breathing down my neck, literally breathing right down my neck. Hello? Anyone here? Steve recalls a creepy event from a past visit, but little does he know that their current exploration is about to become much more disturbing. Hmm. Oh, it's dark. Anyone here? Whoa. Oh, why is that doing that? Oh, twice. Sure, I'll, I'll kick it in the shadows. Go oh, past his light down there. Back and forth. On, the, on that lock off camera. Oh, let's take on here. Look at my phone. Oh, oh my again. Phone. It keeps off oh, light. That's weird. Look, watch, watch my phone. Turn it off. There's the light. Is he gonna get it now with the footage? It's only happening when the lights up. Oh, oh yeah, yeah, I see it. Something's running around. It keeps like. That's gone. Yeah, it keeps going. It keeps going off. Yeah. It's kind of hard to tell. It's almost like there's something going in front of that in that light down there. Yeah. A strange shadow blocks out a faint light in one of the tunnels, almost as if someone or something walking back and forth although a little creeped out the two friends continue their oh, investigation they still do it. what happens next is downright chilling 
they're gonna get something like right in front of them or behind them. Where is it? Whoa! I wasn't expecting that. See something like walking. Did you see it? Yeah. A shadow-like figure can be seen walking through the tunnel right in front of the two friends. They don't see, see it, it. but Steve is shocked when he looks it looks back like at the Looks like a soldier. Yeah. Now Steve has what? no idea see? who See, he has the backpack and looks like a gun. And creepiest of all, whatever it, it is, it looks like a soldier. Doesn't make a sound. Now, if you notice, Steve and Stuart's footsteps look at them. are loud as they, they echo through the tunnel system. Like they're they're but whatever this is, it makes no audible sound at all. As it hurries across the end of the tunnel. Yeah, it's it's a, it's it's a sound. There's no noise at all. Yeah. You know, it's like it's floating. Yeah. So what do you think this could be? Let me know. It looks it comments. looks like a soldier. You can watch someone with a gun. Over on the YouTube channel, Steve Ballard, <laughs> the stowaway. The Prince David and oh, from the I YouTube channel that. Signs and Signals are out in the middle of the night to explore the abandoned Zion Presbyterian Church Cemetery, oh, God. which was founded all the way back in 1851. Oh, the cemetery. The graveyard yeah. sits isolated, deep in the countryside of South Carolina. David and Dell find themselves in the middle of nowhere, surrounded by woods and graves. Hmm. Dude. That sounds creepy. <laughs> They're gonna guess. They're not even out the car yet. Hey, this place looks old, man. Like, big old. There's no church on the other side of it. There's nothing but woods from what I can see. It's dark as hell. Recording. Hmm. I can't see anything. Oh, look at that stuff. Zion. I mean, that's got a church. You see that's any the church? church? I don't Jerry? see anything. Oh. Where's the church? Are you gonna get out of here, huh? They're gonna Why get... do we choose to do one that's like out? I thought they were gonna show something. Because we live out near the woods. I mean, at first glance, it's gotta be one of the creepiest looking graveyards I've ever seen. <laughs> Go check out what it is. I mean, look at these like crosses. I mean, just saying, like, you see this? Why are there pineapples right here? Pineapple? <laughs> uh, you hear that? What was that? You hear that? That was right here. Like, right. Oh, gasping. David Gasping. and Del are obviously a little creeped out by the eerie atmosphere of the cemetery and joke around to keep everything a bit more lighthearted. Oh, yes. But all that changes when David suddenly hears something moving right behind him. Right next to that car. 
I can see why people would say maybe it's a mask. I really Whoa. can't tell. At first, I couldn't even tell where oh, the boy. head was. You know what I mean? All I saw was just that it like it climbed on top of the, yeah. the back of the car. I thought it went into the thing. We looked at what it. What a street back there. The yeah. Then you could tell it's like something like. Yeah, yeah, it's, it's uh, standing without there. either of them knowing. Someone opens up the back of David's car and just kind of hops inside. I was gonna say, okay. David and Dell then drive the same car oh, all my the goodness. way back home. David says that in the morning after their visit to the cemetery, he found the back of his car open, but nothing inside was missing. He no. goes without saying that wow. he's worried that now whoever was in the back of the car with them knows where he lives. So That'd what do creepy. you think is going on here? Could this just be oh, the other truck opens up yeah. for a free ride? Or is it something much, much worse? Yeah, Let me know what you think. Thing. You can watch this creepy so encounter bizarre. and many more over on the YouTube channel, a Signs there. and Signals. <clears throat> Before we move on to the next video, if you see anything that you think should be included in the top five, contact us at newstop5 at gmail.com. The Goodwill Ghost Doll. TikTok user James Spotter bought a very creepy doll at his local Goodwill. At the time, a store employee warned James that the doll's previous owner was in a rush to get rid of it because she believed it was very haunted. James didn't believe in the paranormal and knew the doll was worth quite a bit of money. So he bought it and took it home. That's when he realized that he had made a huge mistake. Oh. James began to hear voices. The doors in his home started to open and close on their own. Oh. And scariest of all, he started seeing strange shadowy shapes around his home. James decided to place the doll on a chair in an empty room with a motion activated camera monitoring it. What he captures is downright creepy. Is the dog going to move? I don't know. So the camera's like, what? Charles motion? Is that it? So if the camera's... I was falling like an orb floating around. See it? Yeah. There's two of them. Whoa. What was that? Something right there, yeah. shot. I can't tell if it's an ant, like if it's like maybe like a mouse or a rat. I just can't tell the the camera point. moves around as it tracking movement somewhere in the empty room, but nothing's moving. Then a small dark shape can be seen quickly moving across the floor in the hallway oh, behind yeah, the doll. James explains that the camera only moves when it senses physical motion. So he has no idea why the camera would be moving when there's nothing there. Another night of filming, and when James checks his camera footage, he is shocked. This is a different night there. Is it or is all it the stuff floating around everywhere? I'm thinking the doll moves or it'll fall. Whoa. Just moved. The leg, you know. It's, but there's nothing there. Like, why is it? There's all that stuff like floating through the air. Whoa! Now the head's. Well, now the doll just. Moved. It's like it's right in front of the. still moves all around seemingly tracking something that we can't see then the doll seems to just start moving all on its own james says that he was a skeptic before all this but that he I now like 100% believes like that the doll he brought home from goodwill has a paranormal entity attached to it but what do you think is happening here is it real or is it all just an elaborate hoax. I don't know. That's, that's not a hoax. You can't make that thing Just move by itself. Just below the surface. Urban Explorer Island Mimbano Paranormal is back on another exploration. 
This time at an abandoned underground heating plant shelter what? somewhere in the middle of the forest in you. the Czech Republic. I am sorry. Just to be safe, Bono inspects the entire complex to make sure that he's completely <laughs> alone before he even starts to explore. Then he leaves some of his extra belongings in one of the shelter's rooms and starts his investigation. Oh now, almost immediately, things take a bizarre turn. I just that. I don't like it. So we, investigation. We saw the rooms. Yeah, this is just... I'm gonna go there. So they can, okay, this is the room. Well, you, you, you stop in a room, so you have to run away. <clears throat> you have to run back there to get your stuff. I have my stuff. I like just stay in there overnight. I think I keep my... Gimbal here because it's kind of fragile. Good. Oh. The door opened. Hello? You shut the door and now it's open. The door to the room that he had just closed seconds before appears to swing oh. open by itself. Terrible. Now, of course, this could simply just be caused by a draft. Yeah. But as Mono continues to explore through the underground complex, <clears throat> things just get much, much weirder. Yeah, and this is the second um, entrance. Here are... Um, freak, that scared me. Is that... What the heck? Is that a phone? No. Hello? That's like one of those old telephones okay, so from back in the day. Come on, answer the phone. Where is it? Oh, it's in that room. I don't know, where is it? Is it a phone? What does it sound like? Oh, right there. Oh, wait, this. Answer it. Answer the phone. Oh. It's not plugged in. Wow. It's not even plugged in. Wow. I thought it was. So there's no way the phone could work. You see the walking wire? See? It's broke. Wow. That's bizarre. How can a phone just spark that thing? I hope he says we're all open. An old unplugged phone rings as if it's still working. Bono inspects the phone but finds no explanation as to how the phone could have rung. So now he begins to get more and more creeped I was out. Put the he underground and completely like, well, alone in the sprawling see if shelter. See if happened. But Bono is determined to keep recording and he scouts through more and more empty rooms and creepy hallways. So I'm here at the entrance, it's already kind of dark, and I went again through the whole, uh, through the whole complex, yeah. and there's just no one there, so either they ran away or, I don't know, they did it remotely, or it's just like, the phone is haunted, I don't know. Not I like phone. to, like, that makes no sense. not uh, think that well, someone is so, yeah. caused by haunting. It's just completely. So, this awful. is like a bunker or a fort? Um, some kind of under, yeah, underground like, bunker or some kind. You know, he's gonna get something and probably run out. Probably, oh, well, all his stuff is down there. Probably. Whoa. 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 What looks like a heavy metal plate seems to rise up from the ground on its own, and then falls. Bono is freaked out and makes a run, but unfortunately, Bono realizes that he has left his belongings back inside See? one of the wow. rooms. Wow! And so, he has to go back in to collect them. Told you, I what happens you. next is chilling. Of course, if I say this shit wants to step outside. Whoa. Whoa. Leave your stuff, who cares? Something is in that room. I don't have to go in and get my stuff. It was kind of hard, but I think in this direction. Oh. 
Det blir inte ett skriv så att det blir stört. Ja, vad blir det inte i Sverige? Ja, det är inte en grej för att stötta. Ja, vad är det? Please tell me that's not a Roman spell. Nice, good nice. All the way down to get it. The bubble makes Mono freeze in his tracks. He tries to determine where the sound came from, and as he goes to check it out, well, did you see it? Yeah. A dark figure can be seen peeking from around the corner at the end of the hallway. The explorer doesn't even notice and walks right past where the figure appeared. It wasn't until later when viewers of his YouTube channel pointed out the strange peeker that Mano realized what he had captured. He says he has no idea who or what this could be. Wow. So, it's up to you to decide. Nice. You can watch this entire investigation over on the YouTube channel, ILMN Mano Paranormal Contamination. So for the people who stayed around all the way till the end, I have one more video that is very creepy, but honestly, just a little too good to be true. This is pretty in this video, two Japanese face. friends can be seen hiking deep into the woods on a nature trail somewhere in Japan. It's starting to get dark when one of the guys becomes very ill. His friend hurries off to find a restroom on the trail to bring back water for his sick friend. And this is where the peaceful hiking trip <laughs> turns into the stuff of nightmares. Thank God, it's totally gone. Yeah. Uh, yeah like, <laughs> Oh. oh my god. Why did you just... Why would you... Oh my god, is he okay? Why would you not defend the guys with you to go get the water? Why are you even there? That's when I don't know, where is he going to get water from? Is the guy still sitting there waiting? You're up in there all the time? I get a hurry. Oh, he's still sitting there. After a few minutes. Well, a few minutes. That's why it's just like, this is like, where is he? Why would you leave that long where it could not die? Something's not right with this speed. With this speed. To see if this doesn't make any sense. Why would you leave your friend out there by himself vomiting, get water, when you can just bring him with you to get the water? Oh, just a public restaurant. There's no one even in here. And how's he going to get water? Maybe from the sink? <coughs> no, but I'm saying, like, it would be a container. Why wouldn't you just brought water with him to be done with? This whole thing seems a little bit bad. You're gonna get that type of water? It's only dirty water. It's even... Mm -hmm. He was gonna rush you to water, but now he's gonna like work around. Right behind the door. <laughs> what, is what is going on? They're trying to stop it. It's gonna be right in front of whatever. He's like, yeah, this whole thing is. It I'm, seems fake. I'm gonna, I'm gonna rush to get water, but let me take forever to get water. His friend's right there. Why are you... What the heck? What's happening? 
I'm so. What does it say? Yeah, I just did the one. Get out of there. Oh, so now he's gonna look up there. It's gonna be somebody still standing there. It is big. Yeah, you can tell I did see. Thanks so much for watching my posting <clears throat> That video was a little bit of a waste, but oh, I guess it's just made to scare people. Yeah, I mean, I guess it's well done, but it kind of silly. The same thing, like, okay, your friend gets sick, and you're like, I'm going to go get water, but you stay here. Instead of going with me to get the water, I'll get the water. But like, that makes sense. That was just dumb. Just bring the person with you to go get the water. So I get the premise of it and why they did it to just creep people out. But it was kind of silly right from the get-go, you know, it wasn't going to be real. But it was, you know, well done because, like, the mirror illusion was pretty well done, so. Yeah. But this, was, this video was, was pretty good. There's a lot of creepy stuff in there. Like, the guys, they had the person or ghost, whatever it was, climbing the back of their car. That was a little bizarre. Certain things, like, uh, the guy going by himself in the tunnels, like, and seeing some weird thing. And yeah. Like, some stuff, you never investigate by yourself. You always should bring somebody else with you. That's always, like, a bad idea. Even if... Not so much just a paranormal, if you run into somebody who's like homeless or that has nowhere else to go and they're kind of hanging out in whatever location, you know, they each squat in a certain spot. Um, you don't know if you can run into a dangerous individual or individuals, you know, yeah. by yourself. So you should never do it by yourself. But anyways, I thought this uh, this particular new top five video was, was, was pretty good this time. Uh, most of it was really pretty believable. Uh, it didn't seem like anything fake except for that last one. Um, but yeah, I think that's going to wrap yeah. this up. As always, we appreciate you guys tuning in to check out our videos. So hit that like and subscribe. Until next time.